Hi, welcome to another flute review where we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection. Today we're looking at a beautiful little A-frame style drone. This is from High Spirits Flutes based in Patagonia, Arizona. This is from their signature series. It's a signature kestrel drone in the key of high D. This is made from aromatic cedar and it has beautiful engraving, just you know simple but beautiful engraving down the sides with turquoise cabochons inset between those little diamond shapes on both sides. Turquoise cabochons on each side of the kind of simple but elegant blocks. Tied both front and rear on, the, on each block. This has a bore size of 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. The overall bore length is about 10 inches. Complete length of the flute is 14 and 5 eighths inches. No, I'm sorry, 14 and 7 eighths inches long. It's got a, uh, this is one of their newer styles with uh, a, a solid brace put into here. Um, glued into place instead of some of their older ones, um, like my low D, whoops, my low D up here, they were tied in place, joined solidly at the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece has a fairly tight uh, space between the two breath holes. Breath holes measure uh, about three eighths of an inch in diameter. This is um, kind of the flat design. They had made some that were a concave design that I personally have not been able to try. This is what I'm used to. It works very well for me. I can see where the concave could also work fine also because your lips kind of go out and they would, they would fit into a concave, I think, nicely. Regardless, this is their, I think, most used uh, design for their drone A-frame flutes. These have a, they feature a solid bore construction, so they are bored all the way up, and then there are, in the signature line series, there are walls or uh, plugs that are glued into place where they need to be on each side. And then they uh, drill in a short distance for the breath hole. So that would be maybe an inch long for the breath hole, something like that, that would meet the enlarged area for the slow air chamber or sac. Finger holes are spaced pretty evenly and they vary in size. They get smaller as they go up. Uh, that is to help spread it out so your fingers aren't in a cramped position on this small of a flute. It has a dropped nest design. The flue, as normal on most high spirits flutes, the flue is in the bottom of the block. Made from beautiful pieces of aromatic cedar. Here's the voice.
beautiful, beautiful flute. High Spirits Flutes, overseen by Odell Borg. Uh, his son, I think, has taken over many of the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, production duties and things like that. They do have a few employees working there. I was fortunate enough to visit the factory. Um, this was back a few years now when I was in Arizona. Wonderful flutes. They seem to be always reliable and consistent for my needs. Beautiful tone, beautifully recording uh, flutes or for performances. They always seem to be very, very consistent and reliable. Great sound, great sound. Thank you so much for tuning in today, joining me in this review of this flute. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell down there when you do so that you can be notified anytime I do post a new video, whether it be a review like this, a music video, mainly using the Native American flute as the centerpiece could be solo, it could be combined with other instruments as well. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. You take care.